Okay, so this is a quick video on how to control moles in your yard and, and, and eliminate them. And it's the only way that I have found consistently works. And there's so much garbage on the internet. I want you to know, the thing about a mole is, is a mole is a very funny creature. It, it comes and it goes arbitrarily when the weather changes. So what will happen is some guy will put chewing gum down a hole and all of a sudden the mole disappears and he says, now I've got the new cure. I've tried everything. I've tried smoke bombs. I've tried poisons. I've tried those things that sit in the sun and rattle. Nothing works except these traps. And I get these at Home Depot, but you can order them online. They're the kind of looks a little like a little mini bear claw, and that's what you're going to want to use. Now, the first thing is, in order to get the mole, you have to find the active runs. Like I said, they're all over the place. One day they'll be in one section of the yard, and then two days later, they never go back to that section for a month. So to find the active run is really, 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 really key. And the way that you're going to do that is you take anything with a handle. I usually like to use something long so I don't have to bend over. And you find a run, like a hole, something like, oh, I don't know, like here's an example of what might be a run right here. And then I just take that handle and I'm just going to push that handle into that hole so it goes through, so it's open. And then just take yourself a little flag or a stick or whatever you've got and then mark it. And what I found is the ones that I can see that are, are usually active within about 12 hours. I'm not talking a week later. I'm talking within 12 hours, you'll know it's active. Now, here's how you know that it's active. If you look at the mole hole carefully, you're going to notice that the mole hates sunlight. So what he does when he's going through the hole is he sees that opening and he just stuffs it. It'll be stuffed up. It'll actually be filled. Sometimes it's hard to see, so you might take just even just a little twig or something and reach down, and you'll feel where he stuffed it back active run and that's where you're going to want to place your trap. Now the trap comes like this. It looks a little bit like one of those Chinese puzzles that, that kids use sometimes. So it's a little confusing. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to put one of these bars, one of these pry bars on the inside on the bottom and then you're going to put the other one on the top like this. If you can kind of get in close so that everybody can see. And then Put one end on the ground, the easiest thing, and then just simply push down, and it'll get to a certain point, and then what you're going to want to do is flip that. Oops, I got a little stuck there. Let me try it again. Simply flip that little tab, and then that locks it in place. So what happens is, is this little tongue on the bottom, if that's pushed up, then that'll trap the mole, and that's kind of how that works. Now, once I've got that all set up, the next step is I went ahead and pre-dug a hole. And so this is the hole, and it basically fits this trap. Now, I had already found that this was an active run. I got in there, I dug a hole out, and I made sure that both sides, it was even and flat to the ground. Now, here's a real key. What you're going to want to do is, once you've got this hole, you have to build a little run. What you do is you take some of the dirt and make like a little mound with it, and sort of build a bridge on the bottom of the hole that's nice and flat that connects the two sides of the run. Get a little bit better piece here. On either side, so that builds up. Because when that mole goes through that hole, he's going to want that dirt out of there. He's gonna, he tries to clear that whole passage out so he can get through very, very easily. So then once you've done that, you take your trap and you set your trap in so that on one side of the run, on the other side of the run. And I'm going to push it all the way down till the top tongue of that trap touches that run that I just built. So it's right there, right on top of it. So the next time he comes through there, he's going to try and push all that out, just like he did when he was patching up his hole. And when he does that, snap, I'll have my mole. So now, once I've done that, just take your dirt and then just gently just fill it in. Don't push down or anything, just fill it in. And then, of course, mark that with a flag so that nobody steps on it or hits it with the lawnmower or anything like that. So I'll just take a flag and make sure that that particular run is marked as well. And then we'll wait and we'll see what happens. Now, a couple of quick notes to kind of leave you with on this. Once you get a mole in a hole, put it right back in this hole and leave it there, leave it there, leave it there, leave it there for up to a couple weeks. I've gotten as many as, many as seven moles out of one hole that worked well, that was very, very active. 
The other thing to remember is, is moles burrow a lot. The average mole can burrow up to 60 feet a day, which means that if you don't do anything, they literally can really destroy your yard. So anyway, it took me years to figure out how to do all this, and the Internet's done an awful lot for me, so I thought I would share with anybody that's having the same problem. And good luck on your hunt, and uh, have fun, because it is fun once you start getting them. Thanks.